Hi everyone, this is Missy and welcome to Rep Agency Works. We sometimes refer to it as RAW and this is a short video about helping you get started, some of the things that you'll need to do and know about the software as a reporter. So the first thing we'll do is log into the website, enter your username, password, and client ID that was assigned to you, and it will always bring you to today's date first. You can then navigate around the calendar by the day, by the week, which is list form, by the month, and then just hover over the job to see the details, or look at upcoming. To get back to today's date, just click here on Today Is and go from there. Typically, agencies assign their jobs to a court reporter around the same time every day. So once you know when that is, start logging in and go in to accept your jobs. The easiest way is to just do your month view and come to the next upcoming job. I'll choose this one. Click on that and it brings you to the job screen and you'll always want to accept it first. So click on Assignments, A to accept and acknowledge that you plan to attend. And what that does is put a little person next to your name so that both you and the administrator can see that you've accepted the job and you plan to be there. Anytime you're working with a job, just click on the hyperlink and that will open up that individual jobs job screen. The first tab marked General here contains all of your basic information, the case style, your scheduling attorney, witness names, and notes that the agency has written to you down here on the bottom. The next is Worksheets. We're going to skip over that for right now. Um, assignments, we covered a moment ago. The first thing you would do is accept the job. The Notes tab are where you can enter notes to the agency, estimated pages, O and 1, what was ordered, where the exhibits are, and such as that. Also, before I forget, your Update button is basically your Save button, so hit that as often as needed. All right, attendees, if you're allowed to add attendees, uh, that would be opposing counsel or just random witnesses that were extra in the room that you want to keep track of. You'll click Add Attendee. Now type just a few letters of the attorney's name to make sure they're not already in the database and click Tab. Anything that meets that criteria will pop up and you double click on it and that adds that person as an attendee. Next are documents. So if you have access to the repository, this is where all of the documents that you have access to will appear for that job. And you can see there's all the different tabs here that have been made up by your agency that could be different for every agency. And when you're ready to upload a document, go over here to Upload Files, Browse for New Files, look on your computer, I'm just going to choose one. Let's just say I'm uploading a sample notice of trial. If you'd like to notify the agency that you're about to upload a file, you can certainly do that. Just drop down and choose who you want to email that notice to. You can put it on a tab if you like or leave it on General. So this one we would just put down here on Notices. And I'm even going to tag it as a notice. That way it puts a little indication and I don't have to go look for it and make sure the notice will pop out for me. Now click Start Uploading Files. And now you'll see the hyperlink is there and the document is there associated with this job. And just for reference, you'll see how what we just uploaded is now on the Notices tab, Documents and Notices, on our General Job information. If I click back on General, I'm right back on the main job screen. Documents, Notices, and there it is. Okay, let's say the job is over now and you're ready to create your worksheet. A worksheet is nothing but a draft of an invoice. So you'll click on the job, then click up here on the Worksheets tab, and then New Worksheet. You'll always need to put the attorney's name first, so click a few letters of the attorney's name and click Tab. That'll open this box, choose from the name, and it'll autofill for you. And then you'll see that if they happen to have special pricing, it will already appear there for you. Click Show Items in case it's not, and then simply click on the items that apply to this job, and you'll see how they add it to the left over here. Change your quantities. You can even have the witness name show if you want to. Some agencies have that added automatically, so you can add it if you need to, or if it might already be there for you. Add any second description notes if you need to, and then click Update to save your work. Leave your invoice in incomplete status until you're completely finished with it. So maybe the kids came home from school or the phone rang. Just leave it in incomplete until you're all done. If you have any notes to give to the agency, type them in right here. And now once you're completely finished, got your notes in there, change it to complete, 
Okay, and you can't change it again after that, so go ahead and be sure you're ready to be completed. Click OK, Update, and if you want to send an automatic email notification that you're finished with it, click that button, and the little green check mark will tell you that it's been sent. All right, let's say you have opposing counsel for the same job, you need to bill someone else. If at any point you have a lot of line items that will apply to the next invoice as well, you can just click duplicate here and it will pull them over into the new invoice. Just copy them over. You can add the new attorney's name and go on from there. See here's your new invoice worksheet number and you can just change these items however you want to. Maybe it's a copy order this time and they're not going to have the appearance fee and maybe you need to move things up and down. You can do that by using the grid keyboard shortcuts. It's just arrows, control and arrow up and down. And save your work. Now if you need a brand new worksheet, just a blank one, you want to start from scratch, just click the job hyperlink, go back to the worksheets tab and click a new worksheet, do a brand new one just like you did a moment ago and it'll still be assigned to the same job. Add your line items as you need to and complete it just like you did the others. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Number one, click on the Assignments tab. Click the A to accept and acknowledge your job. Number two, go to the Documents tab and upload any documents, exhibits, whatever you need to. Number three, create your worksheets. And number four, when you're completely finished, click C for the overall job completion. Next would be notifying your agency of your availability. And again, not all agencies allow this feature, so don't worry if you don't see that. If you do, simply click on the small calendar, choose the dates that you need to be off, and then over there on the side you can see you can choose a full day, partial day, on call, whatever you need. And be sure to click update. If you need to get rid of something, just click the trash can to the right. And then once you look at your big calendar, you'll see that those dates and times will appear just as you entered them on your availability calendar. The next thing are your reports. The first one is the most important one. It's called your work in progress. And that's going to reflect everything that's on the calendar that still requires some action. So for instance, we can see on these in red, they have due dates that have not yet been met. Maybe it says not invoice, which means you haven't created your worksheet for it yet. And when you see it says out, next to your name, that just means that you haven't clicked the C for completed, telling them that the entire job is finished. Once you do all of that and all of those have been met, then it will remove it from your work in progress report. Okay, the next report is your calendar jobs report. So click here and then enter the time frame you want, the format, any, any other options that you want here and click preview. Now is the most important one, how much money is coming to you. So go to your Commissions Due Report, and you can look at Detail, Detailed with Items, Condensed, whatever your agency allows. Click Preview, and anything in the Commissions Due section are those invoices that have met the criteria for a, a payment. You're also going to have a section underneath it called Outstanding Commissions, and those are the ones that have not yet met the criteria for a payment. You've done them, but maybe the attorney hasn't paid yet, or whatever your agency's criteria is but you know that you can expect payment on those in the future. And finally over here is a record of your payment history. So click on resource payment history, enter the time frame that you want, and either detailed, condensed, whatever format you'd like to see it in, and click preview. It's going to show you exactly what you've been paid and when for whatever time frame you chose. That should get you off and running, but if you have any questions or run into any issues, just give your agency a call, and of course they can get in touch with us as well. In the meantime, um, check us out on Facebook or YouTube for some additional instructional videos, and everyone have a great day.